Just ignore that, cleaning that a bit of a moment. Is there anything you want to say? Don't try and take my job again, or I'll run again to you. Oh, oh, oh calm down. He ain't here now. He ain't here, calm down. So, just off the bat of that, if anyone wants to send Get Well Soon to Stuart Payne at Ice Reptiles, send it over. But look, let's get on with the vlog. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm setting Keenan a project. I'm going to give him two females. I'll show you in a minute. It is the... Sugar Pastel. And the... Bamboo. No, that's the genes you've been looking into. Oh, it's the um, Ch Champagne, Champagne GHI. GHI. So he's got two females. Um, the Sugar Pastel, she's being paired this year, so hopefully she goes, which will then make her free next year for Keenan. And the GHI Champagne, let's get the words out. Um, hopefully she'll be upsized. We'll, uh, we'll give you a quick show on him and now, and then I'm going to set Keenan a task, go away, find out what genes you want to add to it. Hopefully I've got them in my collection, if I haven't. Um, I'm going to have to shit out and buy a mouthful. But let's take a look at them girls. This is a sugar pastel. She's been paired with a banana entry clown. Hoping I can use her next season with a good mouth. This is another girl to work with next year, hopefully, when she gets good size. She is a champagne GHI. So you'll notice this poor little girl, she's got a bit of a donk on the top of her nose there. She done it while strike feeding um, hit her nose. I'm treating it with iodine. To be fair, it's, it's pretty much healing now. So within a couple of sheds, you won't even know she's done it. But this happens, just to let you know. It's good to have iodine in your collection. Uh, obviously read the instructions correctly and use it when necessary. Hopefully you don't have to. So right, now we've chosen the two girls for Keenan's next season, or first season, next year. Um, what he's going to do now, he's going to go away, I'm going to set him a task, go on to Morph Market, find some other genes. I don't want him to use recessive genes, not, this, uh, not at the moment. Just so he can get the initial first clutch to be everything, something different. Um, you put the recessive gene in there, it's going to be hex, he's not going to get it to see it straight away. So I want that first clutch he does, or first two clutches he does, to have a visual effect straight away. So your clutch, what you've got to do now is go away, Look on Morph Market, look up some jeans, not recessive ones, and then find out what you want. Hopefully I've got it in my rack here, otherwise I'm going to spend some money out, which means you ain't going to get paid for the next couple of years. But you're going to do that, and you're going to go away and find some. You alright with that? Yep. Yeah? Brilliant. So we'll, uh, we'll update you next week on what you've come up with. This clutch is from a double head burgundy pie to a burgundy head pie. So like Keenan just said, this pairing's come from a double head burgundy pie to a burgundy head pie. Um, any of you that have been following me for sort of any sort of time on my social media, you'll know that I've been trying to hit these for quite a while now. Um, I've had this is the third clutch from the female. Um, I've hit pieds, I've hit burgundies, never hit the burgundy pied. These are still in shed, but I did want to show show them off because I'm absolutely stoked with what I've done. So I'm going to show you. The good thing about it is I can show you some of these as well. Look, so this is a little 100% het burgundy, 66% het pied. This one's still in shed. And these little pistols here, which have both been tagged me twice this morning already, which Keenan kind of found highly amusing. But I can show you the difference once they shed. It's remarkable. So, see the vibrant colours on them. female burgundy 66% um, head pied it's going off to its new owner who's already into the burgundy project with me um, I'm not going to name anybody I'll let them shout them out but I'm pleased where these are all going and I've got a little um, treats for everyone that's now in the burgundy project which I'll explain in a minute this is the ones that I wanted to hit though these are the two these are both females I'd like to male and a female but I'm never going to moan about having two females. So we've got two female burgundy pipes. Not shed yet. When these shed out, they're going to be ridiculous. You can see the colours on them now. They're just outstanding. To say I'm happy for how long I've been working with this is an understatement. Really happy with those. 
But look, let's have a look at the other clutch and I'll update you all on these once I've shown. This pairing is to a Met Coffee to a Black Blast Arbino. So this is the next clutch that hatched it, hatched out here at NC. And again, this is one that I've been working on for a, new, uh, a long while. Um, the pairing for this one, like Pina just said, was a Het Toffee female to the Black Pastel Albino, which makes all of these Toffinos. And you can see I've done really well. I could have bit normals, I could have bit Black Pastels, but every single one is a recessive, or I don't know if you call it double recessive really. It's a Toffino, which is Het Toffee, Het Albino that makes the Toffino. Again, three clutches, it's taken me to prove her out. So don't give up on them hex if you don't first hit it. It doesn't mean she's not hit or she, he's not hit. It just means you've been a bit unlucky with the odds. Keep going. If you've got it from a reputable breeder, just keep going. And this is the one I wanted to hit. Which they look absolutely beautiful. This is a black pastel toffee. Although I've done really well on the, uh, the ratios and for the visuals, sex-wise, I got slammed. This is the one I wanted, but it's not the sex. But he's a good looking boy though. So like I said a long time ago that I'd uh, introduce you to the people that are visiting me. And we've had Banging Balls turn up today. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Dan, Banging Balls. Just down the road from Darren, 20 minutes away. So that's going to cost him some money then. <laughs> so now he's popped around today just to have a little look at things. What sort of thing are you into? Just getting into it really. So getting into like the clowns, Hides, looking to maybe get into desert ghost as well. And I just found out you're into saying that I'm into already. Yeah, into the Burgundy Pies as well. Yeah, so Fabio got them from the first pairing I've done, and you've got some off of that pairing, haven't you? Yeah. He hasn't hit none yet, he's been quite unlucky, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, hopefully, he does well. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone yesterday for nearly an hour. Proper nice fella. So, again, go and check Fabio out. He's yeah. called. My Herp Shed. My Herp Shed. Very nice fella. Really nice guy. Got some nice animals as well. So, but yeah, pop around today, we'll go through, show you some of the pieds, yeah. show you some of the burgundy pieds, um, yeah. and go through that, yeah. Good stuff. So this is the burgundy head pie female. Fabio's got the sisters from these, and the brother of this clutch. Um, Steeping Shed, she's been paired this year, which is an awesome pairing, uh, to a clown head lavender for a small head pie. So, I'm getting the clown into now, but if I'm lucky enough, I eat a pie. I could have a pied, 100% head burgundy, 100% head clown, possible head lavender. So that's just an open date down the future for loads of different projects where I want to get into the burgundy. But I'm going to go through to show you the other stuff that's a nice big deal. Unfortunately, she's in shed. That's good for me because it means she's doing the right stuff. So fingers crossed we get a clutch from this season. So this is another one of the burgundy project. This is a pinstripe leopard pastel, possible yellow belly, um, pied 100% head for the burgundy, and it's a female. So the way she's going at the moment, she might be ready for next season. So it'd be nice to get the other genes in there. What's this one again, Darren? That is a pastel pied male, 100% head burgundy. See what the influence on the burgundy is done, it's really rich and the colours right up. I've got other pastel pies which look nothing like that. I'll just show you the burgundy stuff as you're, you're in the project. When someone else hits it, I get more excited about them doing it and going, I'm going to do that. Yeah. It gives me fire to go and do it, you know? Well, you then know what your goal, your goal is. Yeah, at yeah. The end, you know? Yeah. Let them do the hard work and you just do, see whether you want to do it or not. Well, yeah, because otherwise you're going into a grey yeah. area and you don't really yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but these are both females and they're both your students, so don't even ask. <laughs> Tell Fabio he ain't having one either. He can make his own. 
There you go, mate, that's your goal. Yeah, mate. Another goal to aim towards. So, cheers for coming round. I'll have a look for it. Yeah, this is a pasta wench yellow belly that I'm just picking up from Darren. It was produced by myself and in a joint project with Sean over at Eve's Temptations. Um, it was a bit of a non-feeder, a bit of a struggle to feed, so Darren kindly took it in for me. Gave it some of his magic mice that he does, and off it is, yeah, it's going back home and hopefully it will carry on feeding. Well, I will say it was probably one of the hardest ones I've had to get feeding. Really? I think, yeah, Fantastic. I think you was home before it fed. <laughs> So just before we go, a couple of thank yous. Obviously thank you for Dan Wright for banging balls for popping over, Tom Wolf from Wolfy Reptiles, and obviously Sean, Eve's Temptation. Absolutely pulled it out of the bag with these t-shirts. Love them, thank you very much. I will be getting some made for other people. I'm gonna get that down the line. I've just got loads of other stuff going on. Keenan, you got something to say about the film? Like, subscribe, and hit the post notification.